Hello, Pisces. This is your X reading for the 24th through the 30th. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see what's going on for my Pisces friends currently. What's going on for Pisces? Hmm. A lot of you are just facing things that um, that you had a hard time dealing with before. I feel. Um, it's been a struggle, some things, you know, sometimes things are hard to like deal with and you don't really want to look at it for what it is because it hurts too much. But I think a lot of you are at a point where, you know, you're just kind of taking the blinders off and you're facing those things now is what I'm feeling here. Maybe a Leo that's significant to you. Okay. Let's see what your ex's situation is currently. What is Pisces ex current situation here? Pisces ex current situation. Pisces X. Hmm. I feel like your ex Pisces is um, there's something that they they want to do, but they're not really um, confident in doing it. There's something that they want to offer that they're really not like sure of. Um, they're kind of watching from you know behind the curtain, like literally here. They're trying to see, like, when is, when is it a good time to, you know, approach this subject or approach this person that, you know, they've been paying attention to for a while. They're trying to figure out some things. You're trying to get a plan together is what I'm, what I'm getting. Let's see how you perceive your ex. How does Pisces perceive their ex? Please show me. How does Pisces perceive their ex? Hmm. Some of you feel like this person, you know, whatever they think, like they don't budge, they don't compromise. Um, you feel like they, they are know-it-all, they know everything, um, and they help everybody but you. Like they are, um, they're sympathetic or empath empathetic towards everyone but you, you know. Taurus energy there. Hmm. Let's see how your ex perceives you. How does Pisces ex perceive Pisces? Hmm. Getting your power back. Um, they think you're a little, you know, I think before you probably we're, we're kind of uneasy around this person um but i think now they see that you know you, you're getting your confidence back you're getting your stride back and um they're kind of observing you they're kind of observing you they don't feel like they could just come to you with just any old thing anymore because you're standing in your power you're standing in your element and um yeah, how you're viewing them is not how they are right now. They're a page right now. <laughs> yeah, okay. So there's something about you that is intimidating to them. Very much so. Okay. Let's see what your feelings are about getting back together. How does Pisces feel about getting back together with this person? Mmm. I think, you know, I think you would be open to it, but I think you need somebody that is not so rigid and set in their ways. You need somebody that is supportive and also compromising. Um, and you need somebody that, you know, has their focus on you. Like, you know, they don't just, they don't live to get other people's attention. Uh, or, you know, make sure other people are good before they make sure that you're good. You need somebody who whose attention, like, that you are their priority, you know? And I feel like, you know, they're going to have to come to you, is what I'm getting here. They're going to have to come to you, but they're, they're going to have to come correct when they come. Because you need a king or a queen. I mean, it doesn't matter the gender here. Okay, because you know, you're embodying like 
your masculine energy taking control of your life in a situations here okay so whether male or female let's see how your ex feels about getting back together here hmm this says it all this is a four of wands this person definitely um wants to be together with you again in a stable committed relationship most definitely most definitely here this with the higher fit this is marriage for a lot of you okay that's marriage that's where they want this to lead to okay let's see how you can help this situation along how can Pisces help this reconciliation along if that is what they want how can Pisces help this reconciliation along hmm for some of you, this is actually, you know, if you're still attracted to this person, this is actually actually you um, realizing that, yeah, there is something still there. There is a spark still there. That you guys still have something very magnetic. And to give it a chance. Okay, if you want it, it's for you guys to kind of like, you know, really, and, and the four of wands is here again under this deck. Very strong message for a lot of you. Do not be conflicted over um, this new start. If this person is coming to you um, and you feel like they have really changed, if there was something that they really needed to work on, you know, it's not for everybody. Reconciliation is not for everybody, um, but if you feel like this is worth it, this person is a good person and they're worth it to you and you really want to be with them, you can see yourself having a, having a family with them, then, you know, so be it. But, you know, you need not be conflicted over it if it's something that you want. Okay? Don't be in denial. Okay? Let's see what your ex can do to help this along. What can your ex do to help this reconciliation along? Hmm. Be supportive. Be supportive. Embody more of their feminine energy here. Be more emotional in the support you know because queens are more emotional they're more receptive um they're more you know soft in their approach to matters okay and honestly in order for a situation i feel to have the attraction there needs to be an equal amount of feminine and male energy for that spark to be there okay so whoever your ex is my Pisces friends first you pick a side okay which one of these sides resonates with you and which one resonates with your ex okay and then you know there needs to be like for the attraction to be there there needs to be um, you know, a good amount of feminine energy as well as masculine energy for that magnetic pool to be in place. Like you, you're attracted to each other, you know. So, yeah. Let's see what the potential outcome is here for my Pisces. For my Pisces friends. Potential outcome for Pisces and their ex. Look at this. The lovers. Hmm. Now, with this card, 
this is this is strong attraction but this is also deciding if you want this person whether it's you my Pisces or whether it's the cross watcher your ex it's deciding if you want this person is there enough attraction there for you guys to actually come back together has enough changed between the two of you for the better for you guys to come together and stay together here with the four of wands okay that's the end of the reading you guys but i just want to let you know that in the next week or so the next x reading is probably going to include an extended version that i'm going to put on vimeo and i'm going to explore when I get a card like this, a positive card for the potential outcome, we're going to see if I can like narrow down a time frame um, for when this may happen. If you guys do the work here, this is you guys doing the work so this can happen, okay? This is you realizing that, you know, there is still enough attraction here for this to work. And this person realizing that they do want this connection they can be supported they can offer emotion like they can match you basically and they want to they want to be in this relationship they want to have an equal exchange with you you know that type of thing okay so that is the end of the reading and i will be speaking with you guys soon when i do the vimeo i will put that information in the description box where you guys can actually access that okay